What's good, A and B fam? It's your girl Asia. And it's your boy BJ, and, and we, we back like, like we never left. left. We appreciate y'all for tuning in. Yeah. We appreciate y'all for hitting that thumbnail. Appreciate y'all for just showing us love. And supporting our channel yes. uh, tonight for movie night, we're going to be jumping into a drama comedy. Uh, this is titled "Still Magnolias," and uh, we got to give a big, big shout out to one of our VIP supporters uh, for showing us major, major love on this particular movie too. Yeah, so shout out to Beth. Okay, that was just that was just I just had to say that. Absolutely. Okay. Shout out to you, Beth. Thank you so much. For supporting us in this channel, Beth. We certainly appreciate it. And all the love you've been showing us. And on top of that, just giving us movies that we've never <laughs> seen before. Yeah. And, and it sounds like this is like one of your personal favorites too as well. So yeah, we yeah. appreciate you. Same. So, and this will be my first time checking this out. So Mine too. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Smash that notification bell so you don't miss any videos from Asia and BJ. Tap into the Patreon, y'all, so y'all can check out all of our unedited, uncut videos. As well as our behind-the-scenes footage. Patreon polls, our TV series that we just completed recently. I won't say the name because I've been saying the name, but y'all, we about to jump into some new stuff. So make sure y'all tap in. Okay? Absolutely. <laughs> hey, you couldn't have said it any better. Yeah, y'all. So let's go ahead and jump into this video. Oh, Dolly Parton? What? In this movie? Yeah. Wow. Olympia Dukakis. I'm not sure who that is. Julia Roberts is in this. I like the music. I feel like this is going to be like a heartfelt type of movie <laughs> just by the music. <laughs> uh oh, watch your step now. Watch your step. She had to put her glasses on. Look like me. <laughs> Can't see nothing without them, them, them bifocals. Look at the houses. I know. What are those called? Are those like Victorian type of houses? Yeah. Shit. Where those Get, flash guns? Get out of there! What is this? Get out of there! Yeah, get him! Migrate south, will you? He said migrate south somewhere. Uh, delivery man! Someone stop that truck! Stop that! Ah! <laughs> you should drown them at birth. That's something my sister would say. You're right. I'm already loving like the accent. Myrtle, hi. Hold on, please. What is he doing? Mom, oh, sweetheart, I'm on the phone. Where'd he do that at? <laughs> I don't know, but you, you hear like the accents and stuff. They must be in the south somewhere. I'm loving like the southern accent. Yeah, I know. Just to be outside shooting, you gotta be somewhere. Somewhere down south. Man, that's a neighborhood. Yeah, somewhere down south. <laughs> in the neighborhood. Mrs. Jones, are you a nail? Oh, you sweet thing. Come on. Oh, look at Dolly Parton. Look how pretty she look. Screaming at my husband, I can do that anytime. <laughs> rubbers. Tommy says Jonathan's planning to cover the honeymoon getaway car with these. What did she say that was? She said rubbers? Uh, yeah, I think so. That's what I was like. Jonathan, don't you decorate your sister's car with condoms? It's tacky. <laughs> there must be a better way to get rid of those birds. Well, we could cut down all our trees or change the migratory patterns of the birds in North America. Take your pick. You're uh, the one that told him to get rid of them. I had no idea he would alienate the entire neighborhood. The neighborhood would be a lot more alienated if they got covered in bird shit in my reception. So you're trying to get rid of the birds out of the trees. Oh, uh, look. <laughs> look at Dolly with that big hair. It's cute, too. You've just landed yourself a job. Oh, good. Oh, thank you. Oh, that's why she was doing her hair. Yeah. I'm a beautician. I, 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 glamour technician. <laughs> glamour technician. Hello, Clary. Good morning. Good morning. Anel, I'd like to introduce you to the former first lady of Chinkapin, Ms. Belcher. I've just been to the dedication of the new children's park. Yeah, how did that go? Beautifully, except Janice Van Mita got hit with a baseball. It was fabulous. Was she hurt? I doubt it. She got hit in the head. <laughs> <laughs> wow. There's some towels in the dryer. Would you fold them and bring them in, please? Sure. Thank you. <clears throat> 
sweet gal. Where'd you find her? Well, yesterday when Judy quit, I called up the trade school and I told them to send me a warm body. And Annette was the valedictorian of the hairdo class. Oh, wow. The valedictorian. He not even looking. He what? having way too much fun with what, that. What kind of event? It's like they're gonna have something in the backyard. I think she said a reception. Like, I guess she's getting married. Who's getting married? The sister. So you're gonna marry me? I hate suspense. Look how long she, how young she looks. I know. Wow. You meet me two o'clock, Presbyterian Church. I'll be the one in the veil down front. Aww. So what, Shelby and Jackson, they're getting married today? We'll see. Oh, wait a minute. That's what she's getting ready for, right? Yeah. Give me the sports. But who is he? He just keep running. He, he was outside shooting a gun. I don't know. Where's your father? His coffee kicked in. Oh. Do not dribble the ball in the house. <laughs> Look, look, it's just sitting. <laughs> Stop it, Rick! Oh, 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 shit! This was Weezer. Back door. Who? Oh, no, they got Look at that big old dog, though. Rick! Molly in! Open the door! I know you're in there! I know she's not about to come in with the dog. I know. I think there's somebody at the door. Oh, I think it's for Daddy. I know you're in there! Look at all the fresh flowers. <laughs> we look did. at her. You look like hammered shit. <laughs> Stop that! Stop egging him on! Come here! Stop it! Listen, I have just come from the vet. Come here, Ray. She need to get control of Beethoven. <laughs> and all this noise that you've been making around here for the last few days has been causing a nervous condition in my dog. Look at this! All his hair's falling out! Whoa. Now, if you'll excuse me, I got a little work out in the backyard. I thought Beethoven was a trained dog. I am about to end of my rope. Well, you tie a noose and slip it over your head. <laughs> <laughs> but that dog is on his last legs. What am I going to do with that poor Serve animal? Serve him on toast. Happy wife, happy life. <laughs> she just spit on him. You need a radio. What? Music is a wonderful thing to have in the background. Oh, well, she got a lot of hair. I wonder how much radio stations sell for. Miss Clary, you should buy KPPD. You got plenty of money. What would I do with a radio station? Oh, business never interested me. Lord took care of all that stuff. Shelby, I hope you and Jackson will be as happy as Lord and I where we had such a good time. She don't seem like she is that happy to marry him. You think so? What do you color, Shelby? They're blush and bash. Ooh. Her colors are pink and pink. My colors are blush and bashful, Mama. Yeah, that's the difference. Shelby and I, we agree on one thing. The, the groom's, groom's cake. <laughs> it's awful. <laughs> it's in the shape of a giant armadillo. An <laughs> <A> armadillo? <laughs> The cake pot is red velvet cake. Oh. Blood red. People are gonna be hacking into this poor animal that looks like it's bleeding to death. Oh. This is going in the hairdo hall of fame. <laughs> Look at her hair. Hairdo hall of fame. <laughs> I think I have something See? to cheer you up. Drum and I have been planning on talking to your husband about building a room under our house. She don't seem like she's happy. Is she getting like the, the nervous jitters? And now this looks pretty good. Think you know what you're doing. Thank you. Like she's second. She's starting to. Is she okay? Hold your head, Shelby. 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 Malin. What's wrong with her? Excuse me. Should I call the doctor or something? No, no. She's a diabetic. She just has a little too much insulin. That's all. We just get a little more in it. She'll be all right. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh man. This one hit her fast. She's been so upset lately. Dr. Mitchell told her on her last appointment. Children aren't possible. Wow. This one was not bad at all. It was not bad at all. Wow. I wasn't expecting that. I know. 
I got a little scared for a moment. Yeah. What caused that? Look, her insulin was high. But if seven feels too good, I buy a size eight. They're eight and a half. Oh, perfect. Look at all the Easter eggs. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Here she come again. Has found it. I am in hell. Good morning, Weezer. Weezer. I've got to talk to Malin about her husband. He is a boil on the butt of humanity. A boil. <laughs> <laughs> on the butt of humanity. <laughs> I know for a fact there will be no more gunshots. But he was going to fire a gun at me. They're blanks. Drum would never, ever point a gun at a lady. He's a real gentleman. I bet he takes the dishes out of the sink before he pees in it. <laughs> <laughs> Weezer is off the chain. Right? Now, I know everybody in this town. What? And I don't recall having seen you before. Well, I just moved into town not too long ago. With your family? No, Ma, I don't have any family to speak to. Your husband? I don't let her business. Are you married or not? These are not difficult questions. Uh, what? <laughs> I can't talk about it. Of, of course, course you can. can. <laughs> well, I'm not sure if I'm married or not. He's gone. Men are the most horrible creatures, honey. They will ruin your life, you mark my word. <laughs> wow. Oh. Bunky, that's my husband. He just vanished last week. He took all the money, my jewelry, the car. Most of my clothes were in the trunk. He's in big trouble with the law. Oh, that's why she didn't want to say nothing. I don't know anything. They say that our marriage may not be legal. What? Oh yeah, he in trouble. I swear to you that my personal tragedy will not interfere with my ability to do good hair. Good hair. <laughs> I love her accent. Me too. This afternoon, you're going to drop by my house and have some bleeding armadillo grooms cake. Oh, yes, you must. <laughs> oh, no, I couldn't. I still get real emotional sometimes. Well, not today you won't. It is going to be a great party. That's nice. Right? I like Shelby. So like she has a really good heart. Oh, oh my girl. gosh. Look. No way. Look at all those, but look at the, all the trees they got around their house, though. That firecrackers? Are you serious? Absolutely. <laughs> that, that, that should work. <laughs> <laughs> Don't light the tree on fire! <laughs> Look, and they are so excited. Oh, that dog gonna get loose. I can tell that's a big dog. Oh! oh Weezer! Oh my. Why she keep toting that dog around like that? I do not. Oh! oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's what she get. If she had, if she got the nerve to be at the wedding. Look at the hat that's on her head too. Oh no, she did not, babe. Are the flowers still alive on her head? They look like they died. Daddy, it's time. It's time. It's time. <laughs> it's, it's time. Oh, look at the colors. <laughs> What was that blush and bashful? And bashful. Oh, that's too much pink for me. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Uh uh. No. No. Uh -huh. I was a ring boy at one one time. I was a ring boy. <laughs> I, I remember that. that. <laughs> he he growled at her. Even the carpet is pink. Look, oh that blush and bashful. That's beautiful. <laughs> well, I'm glad you you love it. <laughs> Dearly beloved. Hey, she said I do. He said I do. This has been the happiest day of my life, Daddy. Oh, I'm glad, sugar. Aww. This here is the best cherry coke in the history of the world. <laughs> you like cherry coke? No. I love cherry coke. Mm. She comes off to be like the sweetest girl, though. Right. Oh, let, let, look at that thing. That thing looks horrendous. <laughs> look at that armadillo cake. No, man. <laughs> no, I wouldn't. <laughs> you like red velvet. You want some of that red velvet? Not that, man. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> look like a dead animal up there. Look like roadkill. Weezer, can we call it too slow enough for me to get peace key? Look. 
<laughs> Look at him. You hear what he said? <laughs> Wizard, there's someone I'd like you to meet. That looks like an autopsy. <laughs> I'm not autopsy. Everybody having a good time. I know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> If we did all that twisting, I think we get we get twisted and tied in a knot or something like that. <laughs> Be dizzy. Oh god! They definitely gotta be in Louisiana somewhere. Look at that car. That's a Lincoln. <laughs> Look at oh, that. Oh, those must be all the groomsmen. What did they do to it? Let me put it this way. If you and Jackson want to practice safe sex, you're all set. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> you look. Oh, is that it? I couldn't see. I just saw a bunch of tissue and raffles on her. There she go. That was the guy that was at the wedding reception pouring her to drink the, mm -hmm. the cherry coat. Would you like a ride? New shoes. Have to break them in. She's so polite. Right? It's like she's so shy but awkward kind of at the same time a mm -hmm. little bit. The older you get, the sillier you get. The older you get, the uglier you get. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. You gotta, no. gotta love that southern attitude, that southern hospitality. They are off the chain. <laughs> How's your family? All fine spuds is outgoing as ever. Louis brought his girlfriend home, and the nicest thing I can say about her is all of her tattoos are spelled correctly. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Our little Nell here has become one of the hottest tickets in town. So this must be time has passed or something. I'm thinking so, too, because it was Easter, now it's Christmas. Nobody move! My contact! Oh, no! Hey, Dad, hey, don't move. Move. You're right, because she don't have glasses. Oh, I remember those days. Losing your, uh, your contact? My contact! I'm the color announcer for the devils. I'm fabulous. I'm just too colorful for words. Well, that's nice of them to let you talk on the radio. Nice nothing. I own the radio station. No. You bought it. Yes, KPPD. The station of choice in Chinkapin Parish. <laughs> wow. And she was like, I'm not, I would never do that. What would I have to talk about? Right, and she did it. She bought the, uh, the radio station. This is KPPD. Chicken Pen Parish. Live from the Devil's Locker Room. This is Bart Boone with color announcer Clary Belcher. Thank you, Bob. You know, Bob, it's a shame I listen to Candle here. <laughs> that's that's why she wanted to. new Devil uniforms. Uh, what? Lovely. I myself would never have chosen those quite pants. They're filthy. I would have gone with the darker color. If I chose everything, just look at those grass stains. Impossible to get out. Yeah. <laughs> it's hard to keep white clean when you're tackled. <laughs> but I love the. <laughs> <laughs> she looking behind her. <laughs> What's Jackson giving you? Do you know? Furniture. Must be nice to be married to a rich lawyer. <laughs> What's it for the living room? No, for the nursery. What? I'm pregnant. <gasps> what do you want me to say? Well, something along the lines of congratulations. I thought she couldn't. I know. Would it be too much to ask for a little excitement? Why well, she's? I want a child. What about adoption? You filled out all the applications. Mama, no judge is going to give a baby to someone with my medical record. I want a child of my own. I think it would help things a lot. Help things? Remember, Mom said that she couldn't have kids. There are limits to what you can do. Hmm. I need your support. I would rather have 30 minutes of wonderful 
in a lifetime of nothing special. Wow. She really wants her mom's support too. Oh, goodness gracious. <clears throat> they got me a little they got me a little worked up. Look, I went to the fire sale at the Baptist bookstore in Shreveport last week. They had mismatched manger scenes at incredibly low in prices. Shreveport. I cleaned them out of baby Jesus's, which I made <laughs> into ornaments. She looks so much different without those glasses on. Yeah. Miss Truvy, I'm beyond <laughs> health. Last week I discovered the early stages of crow's feet. Honey, time marches on, and eventually you realize it's marching across your face. <laughs> Not marching across your face. Why are you so late? Did you and Sammy get tangled up in the tents? She had an entanglement. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Weeza. What? There's somebody that wants to see you. Who? I've opened the can of worms for you. What? Hey. Look, <laughs> did she just eat right off of the... Yeah. Remember me? <laughs> My God, you look different. Have you shrunk? <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, then what's wrong with you these days? You got a reindeer up your butt. If only you knew. Right. If only if you knew the half. Today, my daughter told me a big secret. Daddy. Nah, nah, don't worry, honey. I'm not going to tell him you're pregnant. I'm just going to tell him. <laughs> I'm just gonna tell him I'm gonna be a granddaddy. Uh oh. And the doctor said Shelby couldn't have children. Yeah, what do they know? I guess she showed them. The doctor said she shouldn't have children. There's a big difference. Mm. This baby is not exactly great news. Don't dampen the mood. It'll be fine. Absolutely. <laughs> you know what they say? That which does not kill us makes us stronger. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Let's put our, let's all put our hands in. I like that. Born on the third of July. Is the Oh look. Is that the baby? I, it gotta be. <gasps> yeah. <laughs> Don't they always look so confused? Like the baby, like yeah. on, on their first birthday, trying to blow out the candle. Yes. Like what do I do? I want to get my hair cut short, and I want Truvy to do it. So she had the baby. Mm-hmm. So the baby. And he just turned one. Yeah. Shelby. Shelby, I just can't seem to find the wipes wow. in my bag. Look how big he is. Oh, she got in her hair. Hey, March dear. What and is she doing? Much as a hello. He's... <laughs> I don't know. She's wrapping her hair like it's leftovers or something. Well, speaking of drawers, hang on to yours. Ta-da! Oh, it, it is short, isn't it? Wow. That's what you call a change. <laughs> oh, you don't like it. Well, well, I did what you asked me, didn't oh, I? yes, Ruby, you did a beautiful job. <laughs> What's she say? Oh, sweetheart, don't. Julia Roberts can look beautiful in anything. Right. Milan, have you seen this? Yes, I have. Well, the doctor's just trying to strengthen my veins. They're in terrible shape. God, Shelby, it looks like you've been driving nails up your arm. Whoa. Shall we tell her, Mama? Tell her what? It's my dialysis. It's no big thing. Oh. That's kind of a big thing. Having Jack Jr. put too much strain on my kidneys, now they're kaput. That's all. Wow. I'm lucky I don't have to wait anymore. What? Mama's gonna give me one of her kidneys. When? Look at it. Check in tomorrow morning. Tomorrow? So, because she had the baby. Yeah, she was saying It seemed like it got worse. Yeah. She said her kidneys went kaput. That's not funny. <laughs> okay, okay, no more transplant jokes. Daddy doesn't like them. Who's <laughs> turn is it? Oh, mama. Oh, yes. Give me all your internal organs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mean aces. Oh, Dad, oh, oh, he done I'm with sorry. that game. Yeah. It just slipped out. Go fish. 
That's your favorite game. One of your favorite games. What? Goldfish. <laughs> the game you couldn't play. A tale of two kidneys. <laughs> They are cracking up about that, right. and it's like a real serious thing. Yeah. You are going to get in this car. We're going to drop that pot of beans off at the Eatonton house. And then you are going to church with me. Oh, I don't know. Oh, honey, God don't care which church you go to as long as you show up. I heard that. Amen. Right, right on to that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh oh, there goes the guy. Oh, oh, she, did, oh. oh. did she hit him with the wink though? Look, she hit him with the wink though. Look, look. at <laughs> Look, he was smiling. Tickling his, tickling his little fancy. <laughs> I was just wondering how things were with you and Owen. I can report that the Sherwood Flores deliver truck stops by her house at least twice a week. He knows I like fresh flowers. And I can report that a strange car is parked in her garage at least once a week. Uh-huh. Weezer never done a religious thing in her life. Now that is not true. <laughs> Look at that hat. <laughs> Look like she got like one of them stir fry walks on top of her head upside down. <laughs> not that this is any of anyone else's business. But no, we're friends. He would like more, and I'm dealing with that. But I am old and set in my way. You are playing hard to get. At her age, she should be playing beat the clock. <laughs> they all up in her business. Oh, in it. Oh, they're there. Hmm. Think about that. You just gotta wait. You don't know what's going on during right. the operation. I just, hope, I just hope it goes well. That just throws me for a loop every time I see see like scenes like this where they mm -hmm. smoking in the hospital like that. I know, right? Looks good. Ooh. Looks real, real good. Shoot. Oh yeah, cause That's... her mom is not out there cause she gave her her kidney. Mm -hmm. So it's like both of them, you know? Yeah. Well, that's good news though. It went, he said it went really, really good. Surprise! <laughs> I can't believe it! I have always wanted to give a wedding shower with the mom's thermal <laughs> That's what you get for getting married on Halloween. Yeah. Oh, she getting married. Quiet down, quiet down. It says, better late than never. Oh! Woo! Oh, look oh, out, Sammy! Oh. Mm. It's not signed. Yeah, she said, oh my gosh. <laughs> Look, she put that back in the box. <laughs> I'm had to say trick or treat or something. Uh oh. Something kind of like it. Did you see that? Mm hmm. Kind of hesitated. Good night. Oh, she, 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 she should say something. And let's go in and make some spaghetti. Ah, oh, Jack. Oh. Let's go call Daddy, okay? Oh, no. Oh, no. Shelby! What's the matter, pal? Look at the house. Oh, my God. Baby? What happened? When she picked up Jackson, it was like she... Something was, like something was bothering her. I thought she got... And they just had the transplant. Oh, he said a rejection of the kidney. An infection on her nervous system. Oh, no. Whoa. Oh, no. It's like it just, it just took a complete 180. It's the one where you're holding him and you're looking at him and he's looking at you and then y'all looked over at me, remember? Open your eyes, Shelby. Open your eyes. Open your eyes. Look at him. Wow. Come on, Shelby. Oh, no, babe. Honey, it'll do you good to get out for a while. Eat a real dinner. What if she wakes up for two minutes and I'm not here? Wow. 
I feel like I wouldn't leave either. Right? At all. What is he signing? Wait, 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 wait a minute. No. Oh my God. I can't believe this. Wow. I didn't think that that was what was going to happen to at her. all. That was like just so, oh, so man. unexpected. Look, he got the biggest smile. She just wants to hold a piece of Shelby. I can take this part right here. You can even see on Jackson's face like a just a state of disbelief. Yeah. Her brothers. Mm. You can tell like she had a really close relationship with her mom. I too. know should make you feel a lot better that Shelby is with her king. We should all be rejoicing. Will you go on ahead? I'm sorry if I don't feel like it. I guess I'm a little selfish. I'd rather have her here. Hmm. I, I just want to hit somebody until they feel as bad as I do. I just want to hit something. I want to hit it on. <laughs> here. Hit this. Go ahead, Malin. Slop her. Are you crazy? Hannah, are you high, Clary? <laughs> oh, wow. You are a pig from hell. <laughs> <laughs> Weezer, don't leave. Weezer, Weezer, I was just kidding. Come back. Oh. <laughs> Look at her, she walking the hall. <laughs> Aw. Weezer came around, too. Wow. Ooh, that last scene took everything in me right now. I know. <laughs> Things were getting entirely too serious for a moment. We needed to laugh. She like that is not funny <laughs> <laughs> at all. Oh my God! <laughs> you are too twisted for color TV, Clary. <laughs> <laughs> she is mad. <laughs> she done pushed her off the whole she's bench. She's as mad as a rattlesnake right sit now. With us. <laughs> she pushed off the bench. Yeah. Oh look, Easter came back around again. Yeah. Wow. Look at that, got the Easter suit on. Yeah. Never been so uncomfortable in all my life. <laughs> we'll talk about uncomfortable when you're nine months pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> just, just like a hubby. Right. I don't believe it. I'm a chain, oh, Spicato. Oh, so she got like an official salon now. Two. I she said I'm a chain. <laughs> bushes, I can't see shit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Look at the bunny. <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a beautiful young girl named Shelby. And Shelby had a lovely, kind, and wonderful, good fairy named Clary. Mm -hmm. But there was also a horrible, evil, ugly witch named Weezer. <laughs> <laughs> Wicked Witch of the South. Well, I have to be sociable. Yeah. And the dog. <laughs> and the dog. <laughs> Still missing air. Let's connect the bald spots. Drum. Mm -hmm. Eat shit and die. <laughs> Good to see you too, Weezer Owen. Good old Weezer. Kill, kill. Quit it, Drum. Stop egging him on. <laughs> <laughs> Why she got this big old dog? Everywhere she goes. You remember me? It's your old pal Weezer. <laughs> oh! Jack. What the? Oh no! That little story that she told had an had an effect on him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hi, 
Uh oh. Look how she walking in the mills in the, in the I grass. Know. Classy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, good thing he pulled up. Hey, Timmy, you better go hurry up. You better have a child. Oh, that's it. They gotta go get baby Shelby. Look, look, they both right behind each other. He right behind him. This was so good, aww. Look, he not even stopping at the stop sign. No, see? You see how fast he's driving, right? <laughs> <laughs> this was so good. Oh, man. Aww. This was one of the ones right here. This movie, Steel Magnolias. I mean, the just the story, the storyline, just everything that we, that, that we sat here and, and just watched and had just unfolded. Yeah. Yeah. It's just like a beautiful story, especially it you know it takes place in, in in the South in Louisiana. I love like everybody's like accents, like the Southern hospitality. Uh, I just love like the spirit of Shelby, like just just the way that she like really carried herself. Literally, everything about you know? her, and it was almost like she knew she had this condition, but she didn't really lead anybody on to make her feel like sorry for her or. Right. To have empathy towards her. It's like, you know, I got this, you know? Yeah. Like, and she kept that spirit all the way up until the end. Like, it's just unfortunate that she was at home with the baby, like, by herself when she was having another, like, one of those episodes. Mm -hmm. But I, I wonder why, you know, I guess, you know, it's it's the movie. But I'm like, I wonder why she wouldn't have said anything to anybody to, to let them know that something was going on with her. Because when she almost, like, kind of stumbled at work, I would think, like, you know, she probably, like, let somebody know well, she was at something. the hospital right that you know something's going on with her so that it didn't continue to go on longer than it should have yeah but obviously like you know ultimately it was her her kidney failed her transplant failed yeah and yeah so i think that's really yeah. like you know that 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 would have happened probably I don't, I don't really know a lot about transplants and stuff so i don't want to you know, say yeah. what would have happened, but I'm just like I don't I don't even know if it, even if she did say anything that it would have been preventable. You right, know? Be like, because you know a lot of times if somebody has like a kidney transplant, it's usually like somebody in your family, like mm -hmm. your mother, your father, brother, sister, yeah, or somebody really close to, close to you where it, it's more of a match. Uh, but you could kind of hear like the doctor saying that her body like rejected it, right. which which usually isn't fully always common. You That's know what so I mean? Sad. So yeah, just the baby, just to hear that 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 that's what happened. That they, you know, uh, Miss Malin, like she gave like one of her kidneys to her daughter, right. and then for it to fail, like 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 just think of like how that would like really make you feel when when you thought that that, that it was such, you know, success mm -hmm. that it was gonna be like a, a su successful operation, and, and then it and then the like find it was. exactly that's what I'm saying. Like everything seemed like normal, like like she was on the men, and then and then it's just like. Just, just this horrible, like, act, you know, just this horrible, you know, just situation that happened where it just, where her body, like she said, like, like her body just gave out. Yeah. But I, I really feel like, you know, even when we were going back to that part of the movie where, you know, Shelby and 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 Malin, where she was arguing with her mom about being pregnant. Yeah. And and she like looked at her mom and told her, it's like, she, like this one part of the, that one line where she said, I, you know, I'd rather have like thirty minutes. Of feeling alive or having thirty minutes of joy than not having a lifetime of of not being able to experience motherhood right. or looking right. in your in your child and you know looking in, in in Jackson's eyes yeah you know yeah looking at her looking at her son's eyes and be able to bring him into this world so mm. it's like I feel like I really felt like like Shelby just took her fate in her own hands and like you know. Cause she always said that her mom always had like a, a say so in a lot of things. You could you yeah. kind of tell at the beginning with the with the whole wedding how they had she was like you know her mom was always on top of it, right? And you know Shelby made the made the executive decision to be like I, I'm I'm kind of going to leave my own, right? You know I'm, I'm going to take my destiny in my own hands and do it myself. But she ended up having the baby. The baby was looked to be healthy and happy, and exactly she still was able to to pursue that even up you know the one year old birthday that she still had all of you know the early experiences. But it's just so unfortunate that the baby's not going to be able to have his mom. And, and you can tell, a, like, the husband so was upset. Yeah. So I feel like at the beginning when I said that she wasn't happy, it wasn't ha 
and she wasn't happy to to marry him. I think she was just more so just worried that, you know, maybe something would happen to her being that, you know, her mom always had her and took care of her and made sure she was okay. You know what I mean? Yeah, like in yeah. the instance where she was at the beauty shop, she knew exactly what to do, you know, yeah. to help her. So I think it was more worry than it was her not being like, not being happy. Like, she like she was happy. I think she was happy to get married. and everything. Yeah. yeah. And I think part of it was that she wanted to have a child or she wanted to have a baby. And she already knew her mom didn't want her, her to do right. that because of, her condition. So I think that that was the down part. Yeah. What the way that she was feeling. Aww. But this was just like a, a very beautiful story of like life and death at the same time. Right. Like I mean, like just phenomenal acting, great acting on the part of Sally Fields, Julia Roberts, uh, Dolly Parton, like the whole cast, like everybody's character. It just seemed like they all just meshed together. They all were different. But, yeah. but but I just love like the sisterhood and them coming together I and agree. and bonding and everything. Even Weezer came around. I just she thought did. she was gonna be like the you know the thorn in <laughs> everybody's like, side at the very beginning of yeah. the movie. But she ended up really coming around and and kind of <laughs> you know fitting in with them. And I didn't think she was gonna do that because I'm like mm mm she not. <laughs> she just not. She, she like all in water. Right. Like her and her and this dog they can they can have it. Okay. You can't sit with us. <laughs> I'm Period. just saying. But Period. yeah, it was it was a beautiful story, and even even with the episode at the at the end when her mom kind of had that whole fall, you know, the that, breakdown part. It was just a breakdown, and I feel like like anybody can re relate to that. You know, she just wanted to know why. She's just like, I just want to know why. Yeah. And it's and it's so many different emotions when stuff like that, especially especially burying a child. Your like I child. cannot even yeah. fathom you know, what you think as a parent having to go through something like that yeah. and how much that would hurt and, and really just ultimately like feeling just rage and anger. Exactly. And, and, she, just... and she took that out too. You saw it. You, you can see it on her face. It was like Absolutely. It was completely painted and plastered on her face yeah. when she kind of went through the episode. But yeah, if you think about it, she never really had a chance to mourn either right. because soon as like Shelby passed away, she was already talking about like, well, get Shelby this, get her a pink dress, call the funeral home. You know, she never really like stopped to like process it, and I think what all was happening. And I think it, it, it sunk in when she was there at the burial site. Wow, you know? I didn't think I, I really didn't think that that was what was gonna happen. You know, at the at the end, I didn't either. You know, I not, thought, not I after thought, she got the implant. Yeah, right. The transplant. I'm sorry, not the implant, but the transplant. Yeah. You know. Yeah, yeah. This was really good, y'all. Y'all, y'all have to tap in and let us know what y'all think about this down mm -hmm. in the comment section. And also, we need to give a shout out again to Beth. Uh, as well for this request and y'all let us know and this was an excellent choice of movie like so heartwarming it was like even when the music sound, I'm like oh I just feel like this is about to just warm my little heart it's like, it's, <laughs> it's like you had it's like you had some laughs you had some serious moments and then you definitely had like a point where you wanted to cry because I literally want I mean literally at the, yeah. that last part that part will break mm. your heart it took you on every emotion roller coaster emotion ride Throughout the, the the entire movie. So it was yeah. really good. It was. Really, really this good. was. Yeah. What a treat. So if y'all enjoyed this, be sure you give us a big thumbs up. Like, comment, and subscribe. Smash that notification bell Absolutely. so you don't miss any videos from Asia and BJ. And if ain't nobody else told you, I love you. And we're going to see y'all in the next video. Y'all. Bye, y'all. <laughs>